Okay, first things first. It's not the prettiest man that in history, but it's definitely not an ugly car. This car is like an entry-level version of the MW M-Line. Fact is, this car is a little rocket. And look, this car is the 1M, not the M1, like the M3 or the M4. This is because the M1 was a car made in 1978 and started the motorsport line at BMW. And one thing I have to say, for me there is an art of preference between M cars. 1M is my third choice. The M4 is my second. I haven't brought a video about the M4 GTS, it will be in the description. And I also want to make a video about the M4 Coupe, subscribe so you don't miss it. But back, the M car I like the most is definitely the M8. What a car! Beautiful, powerful. I want this car so badly in Forza Horizon 5. Let's talk about Forza now. The 1M is a very easy car to drive. The main feature of this car is its stability. It's amazing how you always have 100% of the car in your hand. It's even weird when you get another car. This is an excellent car to train with. As gain confidence, you can improve your lap time on each lap. As you can see, the car has a good downforce, and at the same time, the top speed is not bad. We have to say that this is not the fastest car in a class, but if you get used to it, the 1M can be competitive. A strong point of this car is the start, it helps to escape the traffic that sometimes can get in the way. In the first race you saw how it disappeared from the other players. The brakes on this car are really good. This is a feature that we often don't notice it, but when I got other cars I noticed the difference. Here you can see that the GT86 brake way ahead of me. So, these little crashes end up happening. One point I didn't like about this car is the differential, because it's common for one of the wheels to skid when cornering.
The best way to use this car is when you have a very tight track, a balanced track and a speed track. In this case you might not win any of the races, but it is very likely that you win the adventure, as you score very well on all tracks. This makes this an ideal car for ranked races, as it ensures you get a good score at the end. For me, this is an excellent car to become a better driver. It is easy to control, but to win, you will need to have good lines and correct braking points. Besides, you have to be smart to choose when and where to attack. 